And if you're wondering, on the very first shot with a bell, with the very first shot of a bell and uh, the, and Ethlehem, the emperor, of course, killed Ethlehem. The ones that were holding up the emperor on that pedestal, I do believe that those were the ministry. You know, those elders that were in that little spinning cube, circular, you know, ball thingy. Those were the people that were holding him up, just so y'all know. What is this place? My execution site. Why do you turn on me? I thought we were friends. Who is it? Did I cause this? What has happened to me? What have I become? Live. I will live. Even if I go to hell, I will live to the end of this world. And if the world does not come to an end, I will destroy it with my own hands. Fay, Fay, who is it who's calling me? I am Har. What is this light? I, I reside in Zohar. I am the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Holy crap. God? God? Some will refer to me as that. From a certain point of view, it is right to view me as such. But at the same time, I am not. I am also a part of you. A part of me? I am defined by how people observe me. You are actually talking to a virtual version of me that you yourself create. I am your perception of me. I don't understand what you are talking about. Who or what are you? In one word, existence. Existence? In actuality, I do not have a physical form. I am an existence of a higher dimension, a place you cannot perceive, but in terms you, under you understand, it is a world where everything acts as kind of waves. It is a source of this four-dimensional universe, the place where time and space is controlled, the fluctuated void, the wave existence. What does such an existence have to do with me? Long ago, a modifier, or a pseudo-perpetual infinite energy engine was created. That engine was named Zohar. That reactor was created by an ancient people from another planet to attain what is considered to be the ultimate energy possible within this four-dimensional universe. Eventually, those people used that same engine to create the ultimate interplanetary invasion weapon, Deus. Zohar was used as its primary source of power. But the unexpected happened. During the connection test of Zohar with the newly completed Deus, the engine started to examine infinite potential phenomena, requiring energy. The energy connected this dimension to the higher dimensional space. As a result, that reactor merged or synchronized with the wave existence in that higher dimension, me. I descended from the point of contact created by the machine through the path of Sephiroth. Holy crap! Sephiroth? Holy shit! Well, the domain you are right now, and incarnated in a four-dimensional world. And I invented to the four-dimensional world in order to stabilize myself here, I had to exchange or materialize by forming an entry into the modifier again, engine it. Blech. In other words, I became bound in Zohar, the cage of fleshly existence. Since the time I was bound in Zohar, I have always wanted to return to my own dimension, and I came to a conclusion. I had to reverse the process I went through to arrive here. I must be released by the one who instilled within me the special feature of this dimension, the will, that one is you. Decided it was me? A special feature? Yes. I was given a special attribute of the human by you, the contact. When you observed me, I was given a mother's will. A mother's will? I am sure you remember. After my descent, you had contact with the modifier engine Zohar.
the mother. As a contact, being but only a child, you define my existence with your desire to return to your mother. Thus I came to prepare the mother's will. That will is Elham. Ellie's disposition was influenced by me? Yes, my will was reincarnated through a biocomputer which was vital for Deuce. After combining with me, the biocomputer involved its functions, and that bioplant generated an essential element that is her. I was split by your contact. My physical form of flesh stayed in Zohar, while my will went to in, into Ethlehem and my power went into you. That's why I waited to unite with you, and now it is fulfilled. My only remaining desire is to break this cage of fleshly existence. In order to do that, I must become perfect by, by combining with Ethlehem, as well as my other split physical form, Deuce. The only way to return to my original dimension is to destroy this physical body in the four-dimensional world. Zohar is perfect, so in order to destroy Zohar, I need the strength that was attributed to you. Zohar can only be destroyed by the hands of the contact. What about Ellie? If Zohar is destroyed, what will become of Ellie? Zohar and Deuce are one. She is bound to the system by another's will to become one with me. In order to release her, it is necessary to destroy that very system that serves the Deuce weapon. However, having been created as a weapon, the Deuce system seeks to unify itself within all of you for a different purpose than that of mine. Releasing her release should have been performed by me, the one who desires to return back to the higher dimension. But I am also bound to the system just as she is, so I am unable to participate. You are the only one who can release her from the spell. Just as Deuce and I are inseparable, you and her are also inseparable. All right. I'll destroy Deuce and the Zohar modifier, and I'll save Ellie. You have experienced much loss and deprivation in your life. It is very tragic. All contact and the resulting transference of power and will between you and I most likely played a factor in splitting your personality. I disagree. I can't blame anything or anyone besides myself. Regardless of what may have happened in the past, with the passing of time, the cause becomes more remote. It is a problem that comes from within myself, and that I myself must deal with. I see. You have managed to accept those tragedies, to tolerate all things, to comprehend and find where you stand in this world. If you have succeeded to do all these things, I am sure you will succeed, and what awaits you now. To liberate all of us, use the Xeno Gears. Destroy Zohar. Wait! There's more I need to ask you. The system is awakening. Ask her later. Time for the ultimate gear. And it's named Xeno Gears. And that's why the game is called Xeno Gears now. We now know. That's intense! It's intense. Well, that's not it, but you get the idea. But I will equip some stuff. Just give it a little kick. There we are. Happy days. Alright, let's go. Of course, resume the game. Are you crazy? I kind of like this version more anyway, the white and blue. Oh, yeah. Dad! Dad, are you okay? Dad, I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Faye, you have returned to your own self. You've become one. Yes, thanks to you all. Is all of you hadn't called out to me? Ugh. Dad! Don't worry. This is good. This is, after all, I... Dad? You and... You and I must become one! 